Hello again, Hans here, Harbor Freight Mini Mill Tool. Just left off the previous video talking about how I'm going to stiffen the Z-axis column before I scrape it. So I have this plate of steel. It's about an inch thick that I repurposed. Um, I drill a hole in it and counterboard it. I have a washer and this is the nut that came on the back of the mini mill with this washer. So this was <clears throat> kind of like there's a hole here. This was just right up against this over there. Well, this thing is just a giant spring. I mean, this is, this is absolutely not rigid in any manner. Maybe for drilling holes, it's okay, but not for, I'd like to, you know, be milling material as fast as possible. Um, that starts generating some thrust and forces the X cells and D cells. I want this thing rigid. Okay, so this is going to be the foundation, um, which I'm going to have some gussets that come down that you'll see in later videos. But what we have here is this nut comes off. You know, this, this entire thing. All it is is this pin here and this. And then here's the other part that is just, you know, just kind of surprising. You can see there's a dovetail down here um, and there's some set screws and there's a gib. I mean, there's no, there's no up and down movement of this, of this disc on the column. They just, did this to mount it. So also inside there, you'll see uh, I put in a, 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 a thick DOM tube that um, when I tighten down on this bolt, it won't crush and collapse the casting because it's a it's thin and cheap so <clears throat> I have done these things to stiffen it up spinning the nut back on here okay and then so I thought all right now I, I've really got this thing rigid this is great so <clears throat> I put the wrench on here and tighten this up And I can put all my weight on that wrench <clears throat> and I can still come over here and move this thing. Now, I don't have it totally tight right now, but you know, there's just, I, 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 this is just unbelievable to me that how unrigid this whole setup is. I mean, this is a tilt for the Z column, which I'm not using. I'm going to lock it straight. So the other thing I did is I drilled and tapped one, two, three holes, through holes in the red casting, and then I tapped a 1024 screw. And then when I had it chucked up in the mill, I also went ahead and um, the bolts that mount this to the base, you know, this is a casting with a taper to it. Um, I took an end mill and made flat surfaces there. So that way when those bolts and washers go in there and I tighten that down, they'll be flush. I also, I also counter board, I did a light facing on the surface where these screws go too. So that way you have parallel contact of the head of the screw with the washer. And when you're trying to do fine adjustments and get this thing really dialed in, um, you want parallel contact, um, things will, the, the screw will actually cause the, the joint to, uh, push and move potentially if it's tapered. So I, I put a little bit of slop in these holes on purpose. You know, I'm, I know I'm very close to perpendicular right now, but I think that little movement in that hole is going to give me the ability to just get this thing dialed in 
um, as close to perfect as, as I uh, have patience for. So I'll continue on this setup. Um, that's all in the video for now. Um, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks.